This tutorial introduces you to a mock draft, then a live draft, and wraps up with some tips for operating PC Drafter at the same time that you're participating in a live web-based draft. If you haven't configured PC Drafter with your league rules and opposing teams, you should look at our two prior tutorials before diving straight into drafting. PC Drafter and the Gold algorithm are optimized to be drafting tools working alongside you in your live draft. Without a PC, you'll miss out on the Gold algorithm's automatic recomputations that factor in live draft strategy based on league need and best values of currently available players. But you can still use PC Drafter to print cheat sheets to take with you. First, we'll look at the mock draft. You've already configured your league rules and drafting order either in the Setup Wizard or using the Edit menu. If you haven't indicated your own team, do that by choosing Edit from the top menu bar, then League, and select the My Team drop-down box. OK, click the gold Mock Draft button and we'll modify strategies for your computer opponents. While many follow an average draft position approach, you might want to match the gold method against a league that makes use of value-based drafting. Try a mock draft each way and compare outcomes. If you want to observe the process a little closer, tell PC Drafter to stop at your pick. Click Start and the draft progress bar advances until it's your pick. Hit Close and make your selection by clicking the Draft button for the gold recommended pick or double-clicking the player you'll draft from the roster. Then click the Mock Draft button to continue the computer simulated draft. This time when PC Drafter waits for my choice, I'm going to go find Michael Vick by typing capital V I C K. I can double click him or drag him to the draft selection window. Hit reset to return to the full league view of available players and let's get the mock draft rolling again. This time I'm going to let automatic picking run its course with the gold for me and ADP for everyone else. You'll see the progress bar advance through the rest of your draft. When the draft is complete, PC Drafter displays a summary report projecting the total points for each team on your league based on your player projection file. This shows both a total for all of the team's players as well as a total for the, just the top starters on each team. Gold nearly always finishes on top. The Report button lets you save this in either a text format or Excel compatible format for further study. Reset your draft by choosing the Draft menu, then Reset Draft, and you're ready for another mock draft, perhaps with VBD opponents, or you can proceed to a live draft. A live draft is essentially the same. A couple of features will make your live draft painless. First, if you're in an internet league like ESPN, your draft order may reshuffle 30 minutes prior to the draft start. That's no problem for PC Drafter. Go to the Edit menu, choose Draft Order, and use the Move Up and Move Down buttons to shuffle the draft order for all draft rounds. If you have variations in individual draft rounds, you can go to a round-by-round -round level of detail with the Modify Draft Order menu item. Most leagues won't need this, but you may have traded draft order for picks or money. Let's get underway with the live draft. Click the Start Draft Gold button and PC Drafter launches several new information windows maximized to fit your screen. There's also a quick tutorial if you've not turned off this option. These windows are also available in your mock draft by clicking on the gold buttons for View Rosters and View Positions. Now as your live draft progresses, you'll input opposing team choices each step of the way. You may need the Find tool to locate players that aren't in the top ranks of the list. When your turn comes, you can click the Draft button to pick the number one gold-ranked player available or double-click from the available roster. Continue recording your opponent picks and drafting for yourself. You may find it handy to reorder the player list by average draft position to find players your opposing managers are drafting. Clicking any column name reorders first descending, then ascending. The trick to successfully working with PC Drafter in an internet draft is shortcut keys. You can alternate between your browser window and PC Drafter by using the Alt-Tab key combination. Some internet drafts let you resize your browser window to keep things in view, but others use a Java window that is a fixed size. This might also be a great time for you to consider upgrading to a dual monitor display or even having a laptop beside your desktop. Save your league after the draft. 
By default, PC Drafter saves automatically, but you might even want to make a backup league using the File Save As command. You might also look into some of PC Drafter's reports. That's it. The PCDrafter.com website features an FAQ section. Good luck, and thanks for using PC Drafter.